Jessie B. Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for Mixed Media Mayhem. And um, we have to use a stencil, some bling, and a cup file. So, there's my cup file. Actually, I have two cup files. And I am going to be doing these fun pictures. This is my son. And see how dirty and grimy he is? And he was cleaning out the buncher. We had to get all the dirt and grime off of the piece of equipment. Here's a great picture of him. Um, before it could go on to the next for service sale. So each time we bring this equipment from one job to another, we have to make sure it's all clean so we don't transfer any kind of seeds like... Um, uh, weeds from one job to the next. So as you can see, it's very cold. This is all snow in the background here. And he's working with a pressure washer and all that water gets blown back on him. We had to heat it to try to thaw it because it was froze solid. It took him a couple days to do it. But I snapped some pictures because he's so cute. This is, he's wearing his, um, a snowmobile gear and I did get it clean, but oh man, that took a while. Yeah, he was nice and dirty. And then to go with it, we had this, a friend of ours who was um, over helping him out had brought his little puppy. So this is his puppy and this is Low Boy. And so I am going to uh, put Low Boy in the pictures too. So uh, yeah. That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this as my background. It's a piece of scrap paper that I think will be perfect for this. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's get going. Oh, I forgot to mention this is also for um, Scrap Timber. Um, and the prompt for day uh, 16 is pattern paper background. And this is a pattern paper background. It's a grid, um, has a grid print on it. And now I'm really making it patterny with adding these um, gears. And I absolutely love this gear stencil. And so I am going to um, just use my little um, sponge and um, use my ink over here and just start pouncing the ink into the stencil with my sponge and it turned out so good I love the way that this looks I did grab my um, silicone mat to put behind that way if I accidentally went over the um, paper it would just go onto my silicone mat and I wouldn't have to um, try to wipe it off off my uh, craft mat. So I'm just kind of picking and choosing, trying to get all of the gears to kind of um, intertwine with each other. Um, the two in the middle really don't, but that's okay. The rest of them all kind of look like they're um, clogs working together. And then I'm just going to lay my cut files on top. I am not going to do anything to the cut files. They're just going to be just like they are. Um, so here is where I'm putting this paper onto this cardstock background. Um, and I'm going to ink up two of the edges of this, not the ripped edge, but the... Um, cut edges are going to be inked up and I'm using the cardstock background because this paper is very very thin and so I knew I needed something a little thicker for it to sit on and then I like the way that that um, white blends in with the cut files or cut file and so I have the um, just a border of white and uh, here is where I noticed my pictures were kind of getting lost in that background and the cut files and the inking it just kind of all were similar so I am going to bring in this red stripe here out of my scrap bin 
and it's like the perfect red to match this um, machine. And I just love the way that it looks with this. You can definitely see the machine in the um, picture. And it's just, I love the way that it um, matches so well. I don't always pick uh, colors from my um, pictures. But every once in a while I do. And I love it when it works out. So then I was looking at these other pictures. I'm like, okay, I don't have enough of that red. So I decided to go with a yellow since my son's um, outfit is yellow. So I'll add that here in just a second. First of all, I got tired of this cut file moving. So I'm going to just put um, ATG on those solid um, hexagons and glue that down. And then I'll glue this first picture. And this is where I'm going to bring in that yellow paper. And uh, it's also out of my scrap bin. And I'll get that. Just a tiny, tiny bit of that yellow showing. I am going to ink the edges of it. And then put it in that top corner behind the cut file. And then this other one here, I'm going to have this um, chicken wire cut fire cut file over top of it and I'm going to actually mat it in the little bit I have left of this red paper and then mat the rest of it in this um, yellow paper and I think it works perfect so get this all adhered down and again, I'm going to um, ink the edges of that and just place it right there on the cut file and then just put it right onto the background. These two little pictures of Low Boy, I'm going to stick in the bottom two corners. I was going to put it up higher, but I figured that those other pictures um, were taking up a lot of room up there. So I just dropped them down to these bottom two. And I love the way that they fit perfectly in the hexagons. And here's where I'm just going into my um, gears um, drawer. And I have some paper gears in there. And so I'm going to ink them up with just what was left on the little ink dauber. And um, that does not stay there. And then I am going to put... Um, some of these metal ones that I got from Amazon that I absolutely love. There's where I moved that paper one up to the picture. And I'm just going to sprinkle different sizes all around the page. And different colors. I used silver, bronze, gold. And I love the way these turned out. This turns out so cute. So I get those gears on there. I think I ended up using like uh, seven of them. And I'm using this um, craft bonding glue from Elmer's. It works really well for holding these gears on. They are metal, so I wanted to make sure I used something um, that was going to stick. And this dries um, clear, so if it pokes through the um, gears, it's okay because it's a nice clear um, glue. I did drop one there and have glue on my page so I just made another little paper gear and stuck it there. And then here's where I bring in my bling and I have these really pretty um, rhinestones from I think these ones are from Walmart and I'm just adding them all over the place. No real rhyme or reason. I don't even know how many I used but I love the way that they uh, just gives it that little bit of sparkle to the page. And then I have these um, alphas in my stash from the Dollar Tree. And so I'm looking for them. Here they are. And they look like they're riveted. Um, so they're like black alphas with like little silver rivets all over them. 
And so I am going to use them to uh, spell out the word low boy. And I'm going to stick it right between the two pictures of the puppy. And I'm going to do some ink splatters here in a second and then this layout will be done. So while I'm doing the ink splatters and putting this um, title on, which I do come back in with glue and I hear all those down um, again because they don't um, stick very well. Um, but while I'm doing the splatters, I just want to make sure that you go and um, check out everybody else that is doing uh, mixed media mayhem. Um, it's so much fun to see um, what everybody does with the recipe. I have um, everyone's uh, channel link down below that is playing along with mixed media mayhem. And then I also have the scrap tempers. Um, playlist down below and everyone that is playing along with scrap timber and there is a lot I don't think I'm gonna get through them all I've watched several several of them but there is a lot of them there is so much fun um, to go back and look and see um, but yeah they're pretty amazing so make sure you go and check everybody else that's doing those two hops and here are the close-ups I took a lot because there's so much going on in these pictures and this layout. I just love the way it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.